In this video, we are going to discuss a program to swap two numbers in Java or swapping of two numbers in Java. Now, swapping two numbers in Java is something which every programmer must be aware of. There are two main methods by which we can swap the numbers. The firstly, we can do it with the help of using a temporary variable. And another method is without using the temporary variable. So firstly, we will discuss that how can we use a temporary variable for swapping two numbers and then we will come to without using the temporary variable. So firstly, that how can we use a temporary variable? So let's say our we have initialized two variables, for example, int a and the number can be 18 and b 20. So two variables which we have initialized over here and firstly we will print that these are the numbers which are before swapping that before swapping the first number is this and the second number is this we will print like that then we are also using a temp temporary variable for assigning the value of a like this temp equals to a this int temp will be having the value of variable a now, if this is assigned to the variable a, then the b variable can be assigned to the value of a. That means the value of b can be assigned to this first variable. So, a can have the value of b and lastly, b can have the value of temp. That is, the value of temp which contains the initial value of the first is assigned to the second now. So, this is how swapping can be done. That is, firstly, we will initialize the value of temp. That is, the value of A is assigned to temporary. Then, the value of B is assigned to first. The value of B here is assigned to the first variable. And then, lastly, the B is having the value, initial value, which is the first, but now it is assigned to the second. And with the help of this temporary variable, we can swap the two numbers. That is, and with the help of SOP statements, we can print that after swapping the value of a is this and the value of b is this that we can print so the numbers to be swapped are assigned to the variables a and b the first variable is a stored in the variable temp and the value of second variable that is b is stored in the first variable and the value of temp is then stored in b so this is how sorting can be done with the help of a temporary variable so now let us execute the program and see how it works how can we swap two numbers with the help of a temporary variable. So here you can see that I have created a class name swap and in the void main method firstly I have initialized two values of integer type that is a equals to 18 and b is 20. And then we are going to print that before swapping the first number a and the second number b that we are going to print. And here you can see the swapping is exactly done the portion which I am highlighting that temp firstly is assigned the value of a is assigned to stored in the variable temp then the second value is assigned actually to the first variable that is a and lastly the value of temp is then stored in the variable b and this is how swapping is done and what we have printed that after swapping the first number is this and the second number is this I have saved this particular program and now as I execute this program it is going to display me that here you can see before swapping the numbers the first number is 18 the second number is 20 and after swapping the first number is 20 and the second number is 18 so that means the swapping is done with the help of a temporary variable which we have created naming temp next we are going to study that how can we swap two numbers without using a particular temporary variable now to swap two numbers without the use of temporary variable firstly we will initialize two number and let's take these values only int a as 18 and b as 20 these are the two values which we are taking and we will print with the help of system dot out print and statement that before swapping the number is this and uh, the first number is this and the second number is this with the help of sop statements we will do that now here comes the logic a equals to a minus b b equals to a plus b and a equals to b minus a now here we have not used any other variable or any other value we have just used the value of the a and b which are the two variables initialized now simple mathematics has been used here firstly what we have done is in this particular statement a equals to a minus b is done that means a value is storing the value 18 minus 20 
okay this is the value which is in a variable next the second number is then added to it you can see here in the b this particular b is added to a so what we have done the changes which are done is that a equals to 18 sorry b equals to 20 plus again the b that is 20 so these two values get cancelled that means b is having the value 18 now and in last statement what is done is that to swap the following logic how can we swap this following logic this is the last that a equals to b minus a now how it is done this value of b that is 18 and minus a so here you can see that a equals to 18 which we have given the value of b and then minus a that means minus 18 and plus 20 minus minus plus it happens so a is now this two values gets cancelled and the value of a comes 20 so here you can see that the values are swapped b is now having the value as 18 and a is having the value 20 which is different from what we have initialized so with the help of simple mathematics you can swap two numbers without using the temporary variable also so let us execute this logic also and see how swapping of two numbers can be done so here you can see that I have swapped the numbers. Firstly, we have printed the before swapping and this is the logic which I changed from the previous program that here I have written A equals to A minus B, B equals to A plus B and A equals to B minus A and the logic I have explained you that why I have written this particular statements or this particular simple mathematics I have used and I have printed before swapping the numbers also and after swapping also. So if you want to change these numbers, you can change it here. Let's write 56 and 70 and as you save this particular program and then you run it then it will show you the swapping that before swapping the first number is 56 the second number is 70 and after swapping the first number that is a becomes 70 and the second number is 56 so this is how swapping can be done with the help of using a temporary variable or without using a temporary variable thus in this video we have seen that how can we swap two numbers in java efficiently by using the methods discussed